Okay, hello and welcome to my tutorial about um, how to color a picture on GIMP. Alright, so here you see that we have GIMP open. Um, if you don't have GIMP on your computer, you can download it using the link in the box by this video. Okay, so once you have it, you want to open it up and um, here I have this blank screen here and I'm going to open up my image. Now the way you do that is after you have it scanned in, you want to go to open and then a um, browser should open and you're going to go down and select your file I think mine's done, there it is and you want to open it and it might take a second, okay there we go alright, um, here's my generic cat girl drawing that I did for this and um, sorry I drew this so if you think it's crappy I'm sorry, I'm no manga artist, okay anyway, moving on Alright, so here's my picture, and as you can see, it's a line art, um, very clean, no little speckles around, and you always want to make sure that your pictures are like that, just nice black and white line art before you start, um, so that it's easier to color later. Alright, so I have this, um, you can see here um, under layers, you, the way you open layers is by going to Windows, Dockable Dialogs, and you want to go to Layers, or just hit Control L, you want to open that up, and um, once you have it open, you'll see that it's on one layer, just a white, plain white background, and what we want to do, first of all, is once we have our clean line art, we want to get that black off of the white background and make it its own layer so it'll be easier to cut color later on. So the way you do that is by um, opening up your toolbox. Now you'll be able to get to your toolbox by hitting Control B, or you can go up here to Windows and it's right there, uh, Toolbox. So once you have your toolbox, go to this little hand pointer orange thing. Um, this is Select by Color. You want to make sure this is on zero and this is on composite. Um, now what this will do is when you click on the black area, so do that, it should select all the black um, parts of your drawing on this layer. And it will be surrounded by the little um, marching ant symbols. Um, so what you want to do is once um, it's selected, then hit control X or cut and cut that part out of the drawing. Now, as you can see here, hit Shift Control A to um, get rid of the selection. And you can see that um, if you zoom in a little bit, you should see back there the checker pattern that represents transparency. So here we are, we are seeing through this white layer, the part that we cut out, onto the transparent background. So um, we can get rid of this layer. We don't need it anymore. It's kind of a ghost layer. And here, once we delete it, um, you can click on the layer and hit delete or right click and delete layer. Um, you'll see this transparent background. And what you want to do is, um, oh, uh oh, okay, go to layer and do new layer. And a little box will come up. You want to do white and do okay. And it'll cover it up with the white again. This will is going to be our background for the drawing for now. Um, now, what you cut out of the drawing, you want to right click and hit edit paste as and do new layer and it should come up and as you can see on your layers dialog that now it's a separate layer um, if you hide this one by clicking the little eye you can see that you can see through all that except for the black parts because that's the only part that's included on the layer so if I do this you can see the white through it so now we want to center this by hitting the grab uh, the move tool and you want to center that um, move it over a little bit and now we are ready to color. Um, a couple problems you might run into with this. W when you cut it, you want to make sure by right clicking that you have alpha channel on. Um, if it doesn't have alpha channel on, do add alpha channel. Um, that'll make it so that it can be transparent. And once you have this, then you can move on to the next video and I will show you how to start coloring. 